Hi everyone and welcome to Billy Fitzgerald Golf and today I want to go over transition. So what is it and how can it help your game? So transition is actually an area because there's a few things that happen in transition. So transition is when we change direction. So I think the, the most overlooked thing about transition is the dynamic of it. In other words, your lower body and your arms, they don't go at the exact same time. There's a sequence that happens. So for me to before we move on, to, for you to get a better picture of what transition is, it's really easy to relate it to other sports. So, again, if I have a, if I have a football and I go to throw my, my football, as my arm goes back, my foot goes forward. That would be a transition in throwing a football. So as my arm starts to go back, my foot goes forward. You can see how my chest kind of gets back a little bit it's it feels like it's closed a little bit and then i've got something here to push off of and make my arm go so again as you can see they're moving in different places in different directions at the same time i wouldn't throw a football going like this i wouldn't throw a football going all the way back then step then try to throw it it would it would take too long so again as i throw a football i plant and then my arm goes same thing with tennis as the tennis ball is coming at me, as the racket goes back, I step this way. So I step this way, I have something to plant, now my hip can turn and now I can deliver the racket into the ball. So again, just like I would, I would hit a, a tennis ball, as this, as this tennis, tennis ball is coming at me, I'm back, my hip gets out of the way and then my arm can line up with the, with the racket. So that's exactly what I want to have happen that we need to understand of how transition works. So for most people, the, probably the biggest term that I hear is I was too quick. And what too quick means is that, actually what I'm hearing is that you're late in your transition. So for most people, if they get, if they get here and then they have to hurry up and try to catch the swing up, their transition never happens. See, if I have an early transition, then the club kind of goes down or the first part of the swing it's, it's actually by itself. That's how the, the golf club can actually shallow out. So as I transition, the club shallows out and it comes into the ball. You can, you can also see that again, as I transition, it, it almost kind of sets my shoulders and allows the club to come from the inside. So a lot of us uh, would really benefit from having a transition because for most people, if they have a transition, it's too late. And the, and the great way to, to kind of see that is that there's a few ways or multiple ways that you can get to your front side. For most people, they swing up, and again, this is why I hate top of swing. They swing up to the top because top, in my mind, means that there's a destination. Everything ends up there and then goes, which means there's no transition. So if you're using the word top, which I get, we kind of understand, uh, you have to understand that this golf swing is in, is in constant motion. So one way I can get to my left side, again, is if I swing up and then go over to my left side, okay? That's why most people come over the top of it. Because again, what transition does is as my arms are going back and I put my foot in the ground, see it sets my shoulders and allows my arms to swing from the inside. Uh, obviously we wanna hit it from the inside because that's where our circle comes from, but it makes us, um, it makes us hit a lot, a lot better if we hit it, obviously, from the inside than over the top. So, again, what happens in your transition is that as you swing back and the force goes into, into my right foot, as my arms are still swinging back, my foot hits the ground, my hip comes out of the way, and I come into the ball. So you can see for a lot of people that come over the top, from down the line, if I, if I swing back and have my transition work for me, as I transition, it allows my arms to come down and come from the inside. Another way to look at this is I've got a board here or a plate board. We've probably seen them. This is a pressure board. And you'll see a lot of the long drive guys do this. In other words, if I'm working on transition, and for most people, it's a, it's a little late. So this helps us get us a, a little bit early transition. So if I start on the board, it's kind of like a teeter-totter. As my weight goes left, it goes, it goes left, right, left. So it gives me a sense of where I'm going with, with the board and with my weight. So you'll see even, especially like I said, a lot of the long drive guys and even some guys out on tour, that's how they start their swing. They'll actually go 
left to move right. So <clears throat> they'll actually start left, they'll kind of trigger and trigger left because it's easier to go right. So if I go left, go left to go right, see now by the time the club is right here, I'm already ready to go back to the left instead of waiting until my swing is complete all the way to the top. So if I start here, I make a few swings. So I start left and I go right to go left. So you can see this board allows me to get right, left. And that's why if we just start out with, with no board, if I start out flat foot, for some people that have a trouble getting back over to the right side, if I just stay here and I let the club swing and it takes me forever to get to, to my right side, sometimes it is hard to go early left. So one thing that we can do to play, a, play around with the transition, we can get on the board and feel how the plate goes. We go left to go right to go left again, so it'll help us with our, our transition. So now when we swing, we get ready to go and you feel like you go left to go right to go left again. So it starts to feel, you can start to feel the rhythm in your feet. Now, if you don't have a board, a great way to do this, again, to help with your transition is the front loader drill. So we start with the club out in front, which is gonna put my weight left. Now as I swing back, I go right, my right hip socket opens up, and then I go left again. Do that one more time. So I start left. Now as I swing back, and I get over to my right side, now I wanna go left again. Now you can see that as my arms are going back, I'm moving forward. So it starts to give me that transition. So I start to feel like I've got, and it's a great way to build rhythm. You can really build some nice rhythm with your feet in the ground. Again, if I start here, go left, to go right, to go left. So I, it gets me out of swinging from the top. And again, that's, that's I think, one of the most overused and, and common terms that we use is top of swing. I, it's more of a transition area, uh, transition period in the swing. Again, so we don't get stuck up top. So you can actually hit shots like this. So if we get ready to go, start left, to go right, to go left, okay, and just hit some. You'll start to feel how your arms get much, much softer. We'll get ready to go, front loader. We start left, to go right, to go left. And you can feel my arms just come down from the transition, and I stop coming over the top of it. One more drill that you can do is called the walkthrough drill. A lot of times you'll set up golf balls several golf balls in a, in a row, I'll just do one, but start swinging and walking. You can start to develop the feel of how the swing gets you going left to right. So again, a lot like the front loader drill, but we just start swinging and walking, and I'm gonna start to feel, again, how I step first and then hit the ball. Step first and then hit the ball. So hopefully this gives you an understanding of how important transition is. It's, it's in all sports. It's a really key element uh, of the swing to be successful, especially under pressure. You don't want to feel like you're coming over the top of it. And this will make the game a ton easier. It'll, be, it'll free your swing up, give you some rhythm with your feet, and it'll make those golf rounds a lot better. I hope this helps, and we'll see you next time. Like and subscribe to my channel. Billy Fitzgerald Golf. Want to take a live lesson from me or you have a question? Visit me at BillyFitzgeraldGolf.com and thanks for watching.